I know God is like, there's grace. There's grace in it. And I know your heart and I know you, you do love me, but you won't be perfect. Yay. Because we are going to make, I just put my container in some warm water. Welcome back. Welcome back to the garden where I talk about being a Christian creative. Okay, so this morning I was watering my little seedlings and I had quite a few die. Maybe like only a third of them actually are healthy and are growing correctly now. And the way I have them, I have them in these little reusable peat moss situations. But I needed to like cut them and separate them individually. And so I did that. And as I was doing that, I noticed a ton of mold, like a lot of mold on the actual like little potting container. It was supposed to be one of those investments where you get it and the uh the potting the planters are like biodegradable so you know you just start the seed in there and take care of it and then you just put it in dirt and it like eventually breaks down well i have not had success with that like i said there is a ton of mold a ton of mold a ton of mold and i was just like oh my gosh i've had these I want to say like a month. Well, I've had like, because I, I plant it in different, I plant it throughout, uh, throughout this month and last month a little bit. But I have been watching them grow for anywhere up to from two to like five weeks. And I, I'm like, how am I just not noticing this mold? So that's one thing. That is one thing. And that just kind of reminds me of how life can get sometimes. Like, oh man, like I'm just, you know, going through the day, just watering these plants, you know, turning on the grow light. And I didn't even realize that they're molt like the bot the the container is molding. Okay. And uh yeah, so after I like cut the containers and separated the the seeds that successfully germinated and the ones that died, I had this pile of like maybe I I wanna say it's like twenty-four little pots of soil where the seed either died or just never germinated. And then I looked at the eight, nineteen, the thirteen that did do well. And it just hit me. It hit me like a ton of bricks. I thought about that parable about, you know, sowing a seed. And I thought, wow, this is what it's like. You know, I looked at the pile that was dead and I'm like, oh, this is the, you know, the seed that you plant and either the world chokes it up and it doesn't grow. It's like full of thorns or the one that you put in concrete and it just does like in rocks, not concrete, in rocks and it does nothing. And then I looked at the ones that took off, you know, were growing. And those are the ones that are planted on good ground, you know, good soil. And so I don't know why, but the Holy Spirit just convicted me of like, what kind of, what kind of soil, like, am I? Like, what is my heart like for you, God? And I had, I had a little emotional moment. Um, because I would say, I don't want to say another part of why I've been away from YouTube, but I would say over the past, like, few months, I have felt that I have not been as committed um, to seeking God. And when I was really early on or young in the faith, whichever you may want to say, 
I was like, I really want to get closer to God. I want to get closer to God. And I know then, um, I know now what I didn't know then. And I think I said that to a guy on like a first date. And uh, he was like, you don't go closer to God. Like, and I was like fighting with him about that. I was like, what do you mean? I can't go closer to God. And now I kind of get it. It's like, one, God is always here. The Lord is, God is always, God the Father, he is, I forget all the old words. <laughs> but he's everywhere all the time. He, he is before time. He is, he is infinite. And he is always, he literally is always, like he always has his eye searching the earth uh, for people that are wholeheartedly uh, committed to him to show up for them. And he is just always there. So it's not a matter of me getting closer to him because I am close to him just of the nature of who he is. It's just a matter of me prioritizing him in my life. I would say this, the beginning of this year was amazing. My church did uh, 21 days of prayer and fasting. And so for two weeks, I woke up and I went to my church at 6 a.m. from 6 to 7 for morning prayer. And that was just amazing. Then we had snowpocalypse and we couldn't go to church because it was too dangerous to get there. I live about 30 minutes from my church. And so I just resorted to doing the online streaming, but that was really a struggle because I found myself not being like fully committed, like waking up at like 5.59, you know, still in my bed, lights ain't even on, just looking at the live stream, not really like praying or taking the time seriously. And so I feel like since then, since then, which was, this is like maybe the third week of January, I kind of just have like fizzled off and... I don't know. Stuff is just different right now. And I was talking to a friend last week about it, but we were both just kind of like, man, like we really got to prioritize time with the Lord. Like it was so great, you know, getting to wake up and like have that, have an hour or two with him and just, yeah, just be in his presence because that's what Jesus did. I know the word says, you know, Jesus got up early and he spent time like in prayer. And I, I've gone through seasons where I have been consistent with that. And right now is just not one of those seasons. And I know that life, the quality of life um, for myself and everyone around me would improve if if I just sacrifice, you know, go to go to bed a little early, wake up a little early um, so you can have your time with the Lord. And it doesn't necessarily have to be a Bible study from a book or a Devo or I, I'm going to wake up, I'm going to listen to five worship songs, I'm going to read th 10 chapters of the Bible, I'm going to do this uh, Bible app plan, and then I'm going to, um, yeah, I don't know. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be that structure, but just, because I mean, Jesus didn't have that, that like structure, like he literally just went and spent time with God. And so I definitely want that. And it has just been a struggle because I, I get in these habits um, of doing, you know, being really consistent with prioritizing my time with the Lord. I get into these habits and seasons. And then, you know, after three, four, six, eight months, I just get out of the habit and it's just really hard to get back in. And I know God is like, there's grace. There's grace in it, and I know your heart, and I know you you do love me, but you won't be perfect. This is why there's grace. Um, I didn't expect to cry, but this is what I need, apparently. Lord. I just want to spend more time with you. I forgot I have my mascara. Yeah. So I think I need to 
make a personal challenge for myself. I love doing these personal challenges. I think one of the biggest ones last year was, I did a lot of challenges last year, but one of my biggest ones was uh, only eating out, dining out or eating fast food when I'm with someone else. That was a great habit. And also I think I had a goal of getting a thousand miles before my 30, uh, not a thousand. Was it a thousand? I think it was a hundred. I'm sorry. It was a hundred miles over about a month period of walking before my birthday. I was like, this is my like mile countdown for my birthday. So yeah, um, I have the tools. God has given me everything that I need to stay in him. and trust in him and just not get distracted like it is so easy to get distracted um but in the same way it's just it's very also very easy to just sit with the lord um but yeah so i don't know lord give me strength to just sit in your presence you know uh it's not even though i'm complaining like it's a it's a simple thing but it's hard to do um just because of how my life is structured and I ain't gonna, I ain't even gonna lie. Like I just be getting up with just enough time to get my clothes on, take a shower and go to work. So yeah. Um, I mean, the Lord can change anything. He can, you know, break any strongholds, you know, uh, what does the Bible say? Something about, uh, breaking strongholds and bringing them onto the under the knowledge of uh, Jesus. And then I'm thinking about Romans 12 too, which is like, be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So Lord, I just pray that you renew my mind every day. And I guess in this too, like obviously being really vulnerable in here, maybe this will encourage someone else too. It's like, yes, you know, a big part of why I want to do this, you know, share my life on YouTube is to encourage people in faith. And it just seems like it all, it, I don't know, I guess realizing it now, thinking about it now, it just seems like that has to mean I'm like on it all the time. Like I'm like this, obviously there's no such thing as a, a perfect Christian. Only God is perfect. Only God is good. I have to it's like I thought, I, you know, I really want to be kind of a voice to speak to like younger, younger women or women my age who are Christian and creative. And I want to encourage them. And part of that is just being vulnerable. It's like, hey, girl, uh, I'm struggling with this and you probably are, too. So let's like build each other up. And so, yeah, um, that's what I want to do. So let me know. <laughs> let me know if you are, are also just struggling to prioritize your relationship with the Lord. Because it is a struggle um, and just being truthful, you know, uh, sharing my whole heart with the Lord. Like, hey, Lord, like I I know that I could be seeking you more and, and spending more time with you and loving other people as well. Loving my neighbors like I love myself. Like, Lord, I'm not I feel like I'm falling short. Like, Lord, I'm going to just come to you. I'm going to lay it out. This is what I'm feeling. This is what I'm dealing with. Um you will renew my strength, um, but I got to be honest. I got to be honest with myself and honest with you because if I don't spend any time with you, it's like, you know, what the word says. It says, like, it's like someone forgetting who they are. It's like you look at a mirror, which I have a mirror right here. It's like you look in the mirror and you're like, I am a child of God. My name is Hasana. The Lord made me, you made me, Lord, to be creative. And you gave me a ministry. You, there are people out there that you want me to help show your love. And I will do it.
and then literally waking up and forgetting everything. <laughs> it's like you will stay forgetting who God is and you'll stay forgetting who God made you to be and you'll stay forgetting who God wants you to be so that you can point other people to him if you never take that time to like remember one of the things that I have been I don't want to say it's sad but one of the things that I have realized recently is that my memory my memory be like shot (laughs) and it hit me like I set up a like I I check my budget and my bank account so consistently because I be forgetting, you know, when I get paid on the 1st, when I get paid on the 15th, I go in my, my budget and I'm like, I need to pay these bills today before I'm kicked out, before my car insurance gets canceled, before, yeah, you know, so it's like I have that, you know, awareness when it comes to taking the time out of my day to pay my bills so I won't be homeless, but, and that's just earthly stuff. And it's just like you, you, you can find time. Like the Holy Spirit is like, you, you can make time. You can find time to make sure that you are, you know, connected with your father, the, the life source, the, yeah, the source of life in your life. I also think about, you know, Psalms one. where it's like you know if you are in God's word or if you're you know yeah I think it's it's like studying st- something about um being in the word or remembering remembering his commandments like day and night like you'll be like a tree that's planted by water water whose leaves like will never wither and you'll bear fruit so it's just a matter of Lord Lord, Lord, Lord. I can do better. And I, I will I will try. I will I will try my darn dis to do better about spending time with you. <sighs> wow. That feels really good to say and get out. Um, but yeah, these are like the conversations I have with my twin sister, which she's dope by the way. Um and yeah, and just having her, you know, to always like talk to is really encouraging because over the past few years, she has, um, you know, been really good about setting time up for the Lord and some of the stuff that she's doing and that's happening in her life. I'm just like, wow, like, girl, you, you is, uh, a tree planted by the river. Uh, yeah, because you are growing and you're being fruitful and your leaves ain't withering they ain't falling off because they crusty and dusty because they need water you you are walking in the way of the lord you are staying in his word and yeah so but yeah uh thanks for staying tuned (laughs) for this ranty video let me know if you can relate and as always Stay creative and enjoy today.